Now at 6, the Mid-Ohio Food Collective is now expanding its services with refrigerated lockers. Yeah, this is a way for it to get fresh food to those in need and to those who need it most. 10TV's Terry Jabor explains how it works. The Mid-Ohio Food Collective will now be able to serve their customers in a different way through these refrigerated lockers right behind me. These lockers are designed to make it more convenient for folks to access food. So think about somebody that's working, working during normal business hours, can't get to a food pantry, can't get to one of our mid-Ohio markets during those hours. These refrigerated lockers will soon be full of fresh food for those in need. The Mid-Ohio Food Collective will now let people order their groceries and pick them up via a pin outside of their Norton Road market. People that are working and can't access food, this is a real convenient way for when it's convenient for them to come. Matt Habash is the president and CEO of the Mid-Ohio Food Collective. He says as the need for fresh produce for people in central Ohio continues to grow, they will be able to reach more into the community through these lockers. When we got hit with inflation, we got hit with a lot of the ben federal benefits ending. We're actually serving 40% more people today than we did at the peak of COVID. So the numbers are way up. Habash hopes that the new technology will help a new demographic of people who need support. And we tell people, you got to pay your rent. You got to pay your car payment. You got to pay your utility bills. You're going to lose those assets if you don't pay those bills and you can get food. So food's often the most variable part of everybody's budget. And if all goes well, they want to expand the lockers beyond this location. Putting these kind of locker system in small communities and then having a hub food pantry in the central capital city, you know, the county seat, be able to um, service those for us. And the lockers were made possible by a $1.25 million grant from Humana. Reporting in Columbus, Tara Jabor, 10TV News.